Yeah, I want to compliment uh, App State on a really well played game. Uh, Dustin's got a good basketball team. A lot of times when you see records, everybody gets caught up in, you know, who they won, who they beat, who they didn't beat. I, I watched them on a lot on film. I thought I really thought coming in here they had a really nice team, a lot of nice pieces. I was really worried about them shooting the three, because they had six guys on the team made double digit threes. So a positive for us tonight was in them only making five. Now they made a big one late, huge. Um, and so, you know, credit to them. I thought in the first half they had us on our heels the entire half. We couldn't guard them. We're, we we had no pop, no energy. Um, they had us. They were just kind of out there playing horse, you know. And so uh, we we fixed it uh, in the second half and guarded them a, a heck of a lot better. But a lot of credit to them. Um, you know, when in the in the huddle there, with five seconds wherever was left when they had to blow out of bounds, the first thing out of everybody's mouth on my staff was Syracuse. Um, you got to believe. And so last year Syracuse had a blow out of bounds right there, come move, turned it over, we throw it in, we dunk it, we go overtime, win the game. So you got to believe. So we did a really good job of denying them. They they chose to get space, go to half court, and then run down, and that's fine. We did a good job of staying in front. And then Andrew on the ball is long and, and, you know, he just he made it hard for him to throw that pass because he couldn't move. And so we got the turnover. Well, the hard thing with the last second play was I didn't know how much time we were going to have. I had Boston called, and that needed about two seconds. So I thought they might put some on. But here's the problem. They don't tell you till the end, and then they tell you to get out of the huddle. So the honest truth is we drew one on the fly and executed and won the game. Credit to the players. Uh, we, we told Andrew to – we've been thinking about putting this in. We just haven't. And, you know, this is one of the th nice things about my team um, or our team. They're good at this type of thing. Last year's team was just not. Just could make plays. But these guys can really execute things. And so um, Andrew did a great job coming off the screen, slipped to the open area. They had a guy at the basket. And so he found the, the open area and – Bobby, I think Bobby or Cam, I remember, threw the pass and made a nice pass, probably Cam. And, um, you know, Andrew made a really big-time shot. So um, we did a good job. We came out with a timeout late, executed it, uh, tied, laid it up. And so they, I credit to them. Ty tore his ankle up on Monday. He didn't practice all day Monday, Tuesday. I didn't know if he'd even be able to go tonight. So credit to him, you know, for even playing. And uh, he's a tough kid. And so uh, I'll open it up for questions. Let's start with Ty. If he misses any stretch of time considering this gauntlet, this stretch that you have, how big of a loss is it? And Andrew also pointed out that he didn't have a TV on back there, and he kind of informed him of what happened at the end of the game. What, what well, I mean, Ty's a, big, Ty's a big part of our team. I mean, he averages 19 points a game. I don't know if he leads the ACC in scoring, but he's probably pretty close. Um, but, you know, that's part of it, you know, and, and – um, like, Davian's been out hurt for a while. Now, I, I was happy that he got it going a little bit tonight. So, I'm just not big on using those things for, as excuses. You know, we, we, well, they'll be next man up. Um, we need him. And he'll do everything he can. I know him. Everything he can to try to play on, on Saturday. You know, Willie, I don't know. He was in a lot of pain, you know. and um, But credit to him and Mark Armour for getting him out there tonight. Because he didn't play. It happened early in practice on Monday. Um, we treatment all night Monday, treatment all day Tuesday, treatment this morning, treatment in the afternoon, and then he came and played, you know. And, uh, you know, I got on him pretty hard, too, you know, one of those tur turnovers, and he was hurting, and I probably shouldn't have done that. But he's a, he's a tough kid. He's, he's resilient. And, um, I mean, he's the heartbeat of our team. To be honest, Steve, given where this team was the last two games, given you had trouble closing out games, you yeah. were up four with two and a half minutes left, and then they're leading. Yeah. How important is it for this team to get a good result? Oh, even with that, I think it's really big. I mean, the confidence is everything, right? And um, you know, they were they were hurting after the the LSU game, rightfully so. You know, it, it was uh, obviously a very winnable game. But we did it, 
And so what do we do? How do we learn? What do we do? How do we fix it? And the whole thing tonight was, for me, was just playing 40 minutes. Now, I don't think we played great the first 20 minutes, but we, they didn't get away from us either. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, that last play at a half, I was trying to get us to foul. It's tough. Comes off the screen. You know, Lucas probably thinks he's going to shoot it. Kind of sticks his hand in the cookie jar, but he pulls it out, and then he makes it. You know, um, but you're only down six at half, and you really haven't guarded. We did it. Like, they are out there just like, you guys here? That's how I felt, you know. Um, and so I thought in the second half, after some motivational time, um, in halftime, um, and some adjustment. We adjusted how we guarded some of their stuff. Um, and it helped. We, we went back to the way we guarded some things against Utah Valley. And again, credit to the guys for adjusting, the bigs especially. And uh, it hurt them a little bit. And we started to get some momentum. And so, yeah. I don't know. It's not what my heart rate says. Um, yeah, you know, there's no easy games. I mean, those are over. We had two of those at Thanksgiving, and we and we did what we had to do, right? We came out and played well, shot it well, beat them. Uh, but the, from here on out, it's it ain't no picnic. And we've had a tough schedule, and and it continues, right? But it's a great opportunity. If you want to play in the NCAA tournament, go get you some quad one wins. Go to Europe Rutgers and win, beat Duke at home. Play Virginia, beat Virginia Tech, go to Carolina, and here we go. Now you guys are talking about us. You know, it's how it works, man. And so um, they know that. They know that. But yeah, I think confidence is a big thing. And so to win the game was 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 big. It was big for these kids. Steve and uh, you know Carr had the good game all around. Yeah, he's hard to guard. Talk about his inside outside play. Yeah, you know Andrew's uh, uh, a versatile player. Like he he showed his. His bag tonight, I guess, as my players would say. Um, he um, he got in his bag of tricks. Um, you know, he made threes, right? Um, man, he finished that one play that dunked it at the basket. Um, he showed his mid-range. That shot that he made was kind of like Jake LaRavia's shot against Northwestern. You know, a little fadeaway for the win. Now, you know, I'd like to see him finish a couple more of those when it's game time around the basket. You know, he got blocked a couple times. But the kid's a sophomore, okay? Everybody's like, oh, he's a junior. No, he's not. He's a sophomore. He's going to be here, okay? And he's, you know, he's developing as a player at a high level. And, um, man, I thought he I thought he played great. And he's a, such a steady guy. He's a really good defender. I think mean, sometimes that goes a little unnoticed. He's a smart player. I don't know how many rebounds. What do you have? He had five. Yeah, 20 and five. Um, play a good game. Good kid. Uh, Coach, what was it about the App State defense that kept the game so close for most of the I think they did a really good job on the ball screen. You know, um, they got up to the level. They tried to weak it to the left. Iced it or, or you know, made, it, made us give it up. A lot of teams have been playing us some drop, and we put that big in jail coming downhill, and Ty's really good at that. But I think they did a good job of being at the level. And uh, we're physical, made him come off of it, and then you got to make plays and you got to make the right reads. Um, but, you know, Dustin's a good basketball coach. I mean, he coached under Mike Young. Mike Young's a damn good basketball coach, been well taught. And so I wasn't surprised. I mean, we saw that and we told our guys how to, we had to come off of it. And then we, then we can rocket it inside or skip it or drive it. But if the play's not for you tonight, you know. And I thought early, too, our bigs were doing a good job of getting to it fast enough and getting out of it too slow. And then that was bottling everything up. We did a better job of getting up there and, and, and getting it set. It's a good question. Steve, um, the, the defensive stop to force to get the ball back, how did that come about? It was yeah. 2.3 seconds to go. Yeah. And you had four offensive players all kind of congregated together. Well, that, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's his decision how he wants to, you know, some people like, you know, want some space so they can cut and not get smashed up against the the baseline. Like if you start at the free throw line and, and go, then it's easy to smash them up against the line, and then there's nowhere to throw it to. So I understood what they were doing. 
the whole key was for us to stay between them and, and, and get it in a denial, which is hard because they're running at you, you know, and they're moving. But we, we, I'll have to go back and look. It looked like to me they came to ball side and we denied it. So now he has to look this way. And remember now, he can't run. Big difference. If he can run, he can deliver that, right, ball game. But he couldn't because it was a violation. And so Andrew, I could see Andrew just – and Davian was enough in denial that he had to throw it out and, you know, we got lucky. You know, I say we got lucky. I don't believe that. We created our luck by, by, by defending them well in that position. And then while that play is being reviewed, you're drawing up a play on the sidelines. Well. It takes two seconds to, to, to run. And then at the last second, you have to reverse. Play. Yeah, okay, so we didn't have to draw up the two-second play. It's Boston. They know that, okay? We know that play. But the problem was, if it's 1.3, do we have enough? We don't really have enough time to run that play, just so you know. I mean, I'm not going to draw it up here. but um, So I'm talking to my guys, okay, if we don't have it now, 1.3, what are we going to – we got to do something else. And we used to have a play called Memphis. We hadn't put it in. And, but it wouldn't have worked because they had somebody at the basket. That was smart. And so what Coach Shea and Coach Savage and I decided was basically we're running – I don't remember who we ran off the decoy screen. We ran Andrew off of Mars to set us down screen. looked like we were going to bring a shooter to the ball, and he slipped it right into that open area. And if, you know, I don't know, Klaus would be happy because he found the open area, the underbelly there. And we, we threw it in there, and he caught it. First thing you got to do is catch it. And then he got to turn and make a play, and uh, and he did. That's what happened. I don't know if you know this, but this is the fifth game out of eleven that you guys had decided by one possession, and you guys are. Four yeah, I know that, Josh. You guys are four and one in those games. Yeah. You pointed out that this year's team is really good in those spots. I wonder, is that something you see at practice, or when did you know you had a group that was? Such a, well, I just, so good in those I just, I don't know, they're good. <laughs> they just, they're, they have a, they're good at executing things, like things that we draw up, plays, um, adjustments. They have a pretty high basketball IQ. And so, now, nah, I'd rather not be in that situation, okay? I'd like to just be ahead and put the, you know, put my guys in the end and go home. But it's not going to be like that this year. It's just not. And they're gonna have to fight. We're gonna fight and scrap all the way, you know. And so um, we've been through a lot, and so I think we've learned a lot about our team, you know, and about what we can and can't do. I mean, obviously, if Ty would have been in there at the end, we would have ran something different. But Cam's the next guy, and Cam got right there, guys. Golly, I mean, it's right to the basket. Slow down. Same, you know. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's the reason why I'm bald. You know, it's a, it's a, it's just gonna be that way. Nation was noticeably slimmer. Yeah. Zach and Demar. Yeah. Well, first of all, um, you know, I felt like play, we couldn't play three fives tonight because they're smaller.